What is good, guys? It's your boy Ray J back with another video. And in this video, I'm going to be doing a quick technical analysis of Tesla. I'm going to talk about the overall price movement and what happened today. I'm going to talk about what the mainstream media is saying about Tesla, some news updates, and all that good stuff. Then I'm going to give you my stock price prediction for Tesla for tomorrow and the near term future. I'm also going to be talking about our other favorite stock out there, and that is Neo. I'm going to talk about what happened regarding the news for Neo. I'm going to do a technical analysis of Neo, and I'm going to give you my price prediction for Neo for tomorrow and the near term future as well. But before I get started, I have to mention that I'm not a financial or taxation expert. So not take this as financial legal or taxation advice. Also, if you can, please smash that like button if you want to see more videos like this. I'm going to benefit the entire community as a whole. But that's said and done, guys. Let's get on with the video. But before I get started, let's check out the technical analysis and what my prediction was yesterday. So I did predict, guys, that uh tesla could have a dip as and it has lots and lots of support at 740. And I predicted that it would close around the $755 range, somewhere around here. So I was off by about a dollar and 13 cents. So my prediction was almost accurate. And obviously, guys, I'm not trying to tell you that I'm a fortune teller. My predictions are always perfect. But I am trying to tell you that based off technical analysis, you can make good predictions for stock prices. And once again, they're not always going to be perfect as there can be nuances. But I'm telling you that my prediction was accurate just this time, although I'm not a philosopher or some kind of master psychic that I could see in the future. I was correct. So I'm just wanting to let you guys know that. And I'm just going to get on with it. So overall, Tesla was as high as $764.44. And it drops to that level of support at 740 around 740 that's where the range is then it had another run up up to 753 dollars and 87 cents which is where tesla ended up stopping so as you can see it closed at 753 dollars up point uh, 13 percent for the day and that's not necessarily a significant change but it still is a green day so we'll take it and overall it's doing well and tesla is just getting so as you guys know tesla was below 750 for such a long time in my previous video i talked about how tesla just beat 750 and what was next for it but I just want you guys to know that Tesla is getting comfortable in this range. And we can actually tell a lot about what has been happening based off this Bollinger pattern chart right over here. We can see it did make one significant move below 740. And besides that, it still has been pretty consistent. And this is not really a big or small uh, day in terms of the overall price movement and its volatility. There was some volatility in the beginning, but overall it was not that crazy. So I am still pleased with Tesla, especially towards the you know later hours but when it comes to the overall price movement there were interesting things that did come out from the media and let's just talk about that so this article came out from yahoo finance it says that tesla plans to begin trading solar wind and battery storage energy so they're talking about tesla's entering the energy sector of its market and how it is definitely uh, in position to hire more employees they talked about how they uh, posted uh, some careers out there on LinkedIn, and that's absolutely amazing for Tesla's future because remember, guys, Tesla is not just a car company, it's also an AI company, it's also an energy company, it's all of that in one in one company. It's absolutely brilliant. So there were uh, many job descriptions based in Palo Alto, California, and there were just many, many, many things that were happening for this. But I think that this uh new energy sector which tesla is potentially entering is going to be huge for it in the overall share price and that could be something that could help tesla go to the 800 dollars range eventually because this is huge not just for retail investors like you and me but institutionalized investors as well not just for the short term but the long-term future for tesla and then there's another big thing that happened and that is the fact that uh, tesla has a patent now that's going to envision lasers think about lasers that are going to be used as windshield wipers to clean debris off cars and that is absolutely awesome because tesla now has a new idea to keep cars clean using laser technology and the u.s patent and trademark office on tuesday they granted tesla a patent on a way of using laser beams to clean debris off window shields windshields and all that i mean it's absolutely amazing it's groundbreaking technology and these laser beams will essentially act as cleaning apparatuses for the vehicles now that's awesome because the beams assemble uh they basically uh emit laser beams to er stop certain areas of the class from getting super super dirty and it's definitely going to be safe as it has been patented and it's definitely possible but i'm just letting you guys know that this is a big thing that did come out and this could be potentially good for just this near-term price prediction and this wasn't just one article that say, says this it was roadshow there were many other articles such as fox business and many of them talking about this as well to zap debris and that's i mean 
there could be some fun that comes out as people may say it's not safe this and that but you guys already know what's going to happen when tesla has innovations like this it could be potentially big but the last thing i'm going to talk about regarding tesla in terms of its news is lucid air is almost here and people are talking about lucid air this and that but and they're comparing it with tesla but if anything guys it's important to know that there are many 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 companies out there that are actually competing with tesla as well but remember the overall purpose of tesla being a company and existing is not to be the number one monopoly out there but to basically improve improve the ev market as a whole so lucid air is a good company but we all know that tesla is a little bit different from lucid as that it also has the potential and the power to have a brand tesla is a very very big brand there was tesla tequila that came out there was uh, tesla shorts that came out i mean big 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 things are happening so tesla definitely is different but i just wanted to talk about the lucid air that came out because the lucid air um it, it's definitely a good car too i'm not gonna attack the company as well or anything like that because i do like tesla but i just want you guys to know that look we are innovating the future and tesla ha has helped open a new chapter for the ev sector now the last thing that did come in the news uh recently i actually saw some more modern articles about this is the fact that the man was arrested for basically pretending to get into a tesla accident he lied that he got hit by it even though the truth is the cameras have proven that he lied so tesla is in the green it's doing well and i just wanted to put that out, out there all the pieces of news and everything that has been going on but when it comes to the overall share price i am very very optimistic for tesla i do think that tomorrow we should touch the 765 dollars range we may get rejected around there consolidate maybe close around 750s fives again because i do not think it's going to be huge because tomorrow is a thursday and volume tends to be a little bit down so tomorrow could actually even be a red day as we were green two days in a row the tesla i do i do think that it has some support around 750 so around 750 we could see tesla close just around there so that's my prediction around 750 maybe 749 somewhere around there is where i think tesla is probably going to close so with that said and done guys i'm going to do a quick technical analysis of neo as you guys know neo was on a bit of a downward trend it reached a low of seven, uh, 37 dollars and 81 cents and neo did begin to consolidate and close at 38 dollars and 14 cents so it did close a little bit above the low point where it met and it did close a little bit down over six 6.04 percent and that to me i mean it's not the most significant move but it's still pretty bad for the day i mean it is a little bit sad to see neo making this move but it still has that strong 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 support at the 37 dollar range and overall it's doing well there were no significant moves as you can see right over here nothing insanely significant except for the closing it did close a little bit below one standard deviation away from the mean but that's definitely okay nothing too crazy that happened but it is down 6.04 percent and the reason for that is one huge piece of news that came out and that's the fact that neo shares have fallen after two billion dollars worth of stock were offered so neo is now uh, planning on selling about two billion dollars worth of uh, shares to an american depository shares to the usa so they're planning on raising more capital for their expansion for their market for their company and all the things that they are looking to do so basically it could sell up to about 50 million shares is what people are estimating depending on the price and that has led to a lot of people selling off neo shares as well that's led to this big 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 red day and it ended up falling over 6.04 percent because of this but this is just normal guys as you know neo is still technically a bit of a startup company it's only existed for less than seven years and I know Neo is still a baby of a company. They're going to need lots and lots of money. They're going to raise more and more capital for their factories to produce more of their cars to keep up with the demand. As it was announced yesterday that uh, China is uh, planning on expanding its EV market expansion and its its market is planning on exploding for the upcoming months. So Neo is going to need more capital for it. So I'm not necessarily scared or sad that this happened because neo is for the long term just like tesla tesla can easily hit 800 dollars within the upcoming months um there are going to be external factors that can make it a little bit difficult but it definitely is possible for tesla to go up like that especially with many innovations when it comes to neo neo can easily beat 50 dollars in the upcoming months i do believe that that can happen but for tomorrow specifically i do not think neo is going to be green again i think tomorrow might be a little bit more red of a day especially because the news is still out there and there's still a lot of fud coming out but i do think neo has strong support above 37 the high 37 dollar range so neo should close above that maybe around close to 38 it's probably it might it may just be slightly down but that's just okay because 
once again, NEO is the long term, Tesla is long term, and we are holding these companies for the long term. So I'm not giving financial advice. This is all for entertainment purposes, but I'm simply say, saying these things so that you guys know what to expect and what is happening and why you should not just paper hands or get really, really, really scared or let your emotions control you. With that said and done, guys, I want to thank you so much for listening. You guys have been absolutely amazing, and I'm very, very hopeful and optimistic for both Tesla and NEO. With that said and done, guys, have a great rest of the day, and I will see you tomorrow. Peace out.